What's up guys, Senpai here. So today, I will showcasing how to install the two games. Of course, Deadpool and Wolverine game, PC version on our Steam Deck with Steam OS. Alright. So, we need to install first the basic one, which is the Deadpool. This one, as you can see, I already installed it, but I will install again or i will install another version for you guys so you can follow my tutorial so first things first you need the base game so how to get the base game i will not put the link on the description but i will show you how to get it so about the deadpool base game you just go to google then search well, as you can see here, just type Deadpool PC Internet Archive. Okay. Just wait, guys. I will zoom it. As you can see here. Alright. Just type this one. Then, as you can see, at the first site here, you can just click this one. Alright. Make it full screen. Then, scroll down. As you can see, zip file. Just download this. It's almost 5.8 GB. Then after you download this one, extract it. Then when you extract it, it should be like this. Wait. So I'll save my game here on my SD card. You can save it into your SSD or anywhere. So here, I will zoom it guys, so this, this is the Deadpool folder, okay? So when you extract the game, it should be like this, and very important is you can add the original EXE on here inside binaries folder, okay? You will add dp.exe, which is this one. Okay, dp.exe. We will add this on our Steam. So open your Steam. As you can see, I already had this. And open Steam, Steam library. And then click here, add a game. At the left bottom, add a game, and then Steam game. Browse. So I'll save here on my and Steam game SD card. So we're going to look the Deadpool folder. So here. So open binaries. Then this one. Right? DP.exe. DP.exe. Okay. Then click add selected program. Then at the left corner, you should see it, but you can search the name so dp dp so here we go dp.exe click this then go to manage properties use your latest proton guys so for me my latest proton is 9-2 so, okay, we're going to try it. Just hit play. And boom, it's work. That's very simple, guys. Okay. So, this will going 
to work in our game mode we will going to try in game mode later but next i will install the wolverine for you guys so now let me exit this game okay what important is it's already working so right so i am going to exit the game first continue then about the gameplay later when we go to game mode i'll show you how it runs so now we can delete this because i already installed the game so for you guys don't delete it okay so go to manage remove non steam library all right so head back to our main library here all right wait i will close this one okay now we're going to install this one this is a different installation so you need to follow carefully <coughs> so first things first you need lutris this lutris lutris this one okay but if you don't have a lutris on your steam deck you can get it here on discover store the bottom here click this discover store then go to search type lutris lutris all right first so this one okay then install it after you install it you can launch so now we're here to the trees all right so first things first wait i forgot to show you guys so here on my sd card i already download the game which is this x-men origins wolverine okay I'm sorry this this one so about the link i will put the link on this game on the comment section i will pin the link of this game okay so later you just check it out so first things first okay we're here we will going to add this same with the game uh, same with the deadpool game we will need to add the exe inside here on binary folder so it should be like like this okay we will add this but now it's different we will going to add this one on lutris here okay as you can see i already install it but i will install again another one for you guys oh all right wait we'll fix the camera okay when you open the trees go here at the top left corner you can see this plus all right you can see this plus at the game you just hit that at the game sorry at the game then at here at the bottom add a locally installed game click this one then add the name so you can type x-men origin wolverine okay but for me i will type i will name this one just wolverine 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 okay then select a runner from the list click this one choose wine all right then head to game option then executable now we're we were going to browse the exe that i mentioned before so here here the here's the game folder so again go to binaries then add this one wolverine.exe 
click OK. Alright. Then, when prefixes, you need to create a folder and name it to prefix. Alright. So, I already have it, but I will do it again. Just for this video. So, here, we're going to, we're going here on my Dolphin browser on SD card. Well, this one is same process on SSD, okay? If you want to install it on an SSD. So, create new folder. Then, type prefix. Prefix. Alright. Prefix. Click OK. So, already here. Prefix. Then, now, head back to Lutris. Then, as you can see when prefix click the three dots here three dots now i'm going to browse that prefix folder and click this sd card of course then scroll down scroll down as you can see here the folder that i created prefix click this then hit ok right now we're good now head to runner options so choose the latest wine that you have already, okay? So me for me, wine GE8-20 as my default wine, okay? Just use wine. But if you want to get the latest wine, I'll show you how to get this later. So now, okay, just save. Alright, head back. So look for the Wolverine that we created here so this one okay click this as you can see here at the bottom you can see the image here like a wine logo okay i can zoom it with yeah this one click this okay then wine tricks click wine tricks all right it takes seconds to load up but you just need to wait okay All right just go and take as you can see here at the bottom yeah this one here something is pop up here just click it okay so now this so select the default wine prefix just hit okay okay then wait again then click again here at the bottom okay here bottom now choose install a window a windows dll or components so put a circle with this and hit okay all right again something pop up at the bottom here click again all right now we're here for the very important part you need to look for p6 okay so it's p p all right we're here at p this one check this one guys i will zoom it okay check this one then hit OK. Hit OK. As you can see, there's something pop up at the bottom. This you just hit OK. Then again, hit OK. Then we need to wait again. So if you first installing the P6 guys. You should see something will pop up in the center it's initializing on installing you just wait to finish that thing okay before you hit play because for me i already installed it so it will not show up because it's already installed all right but for you you need to wait that thing on the center to finish before you hit play so now okay we're already installed the p6 now we can try it again hit play as you can see here Wolverine and check out 
the bottom something pump up here so now the game it works right Alright, now I will go in to exit this one and we will go in to add this on our Steam library because unlike Deadpool, it was already there. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, sorry, sorry. It's already running. <laughs> right. Okay, hit this and quit game. Hell yeah. Alright, now we are going to add this on our Steam library. We are going to add this by clicking here. As you can see this, beside, behind the play, this one. You will see create Steam shortcut. Alright, create Steam shortcut. Click this one. Alright, then close. Then, this exit your Steam to make it show up. All right. Okay. Now, open Steam again. We will check if they really add the uh, game from Lutris. All right. Go to library. Search Wolverine. Wolverine. All right, it's here guys oh sorry it's here now we can try this on game mode all right so head back to game mode so about the deadpool, deadpool we already removed in on our steam library okay but it will work on your game mode too I already tried it because I have a version on it. So only this will burn and I will show one game mode, okay? So not this one because this is my person stall. We're going to look again the Wolverine that we already installed this one, okay? So this, okay, you don't need to add protons here because we already set on our Lutris, so hit play. Alright, it's working guys on game mode. Then I will use some settings here. Set it to 60 FPS. Alright. Then we can try TDP limit at try some 8 8 watts. Oops, sorry. Right now. You can control it. Okay, now it's pretty working on our game mode. Right? So, click new game, normal. So, this cutscene guys you can skip it okay so i will now skip for myself to make you see some gameplay all right so let's go so guys we're here at the gameplay there we go as you can see we have 62 fps here right? I will show you some 
information here. Okay, time to game. Right? Now we're going to try the Deadpool, some gameplay, okay? So, let's go. We are locking elevator access so here's the game to lay up the progress. Listen to the masked moron. Nobody comes into my house like this. I hope it was worth it. Hmm, the elevators are disabled. Oh, I know. Let's just get some Jimmy Chocolates and wait for him to come downstairs. Or we can find a way to shut down power to the entire building. That would force a system reset, bringing power back to the elevator. Oh, like this guy. We should keep him around. Do maintenance! Somebody get down there and shoot their clown! I am not a clown, sir! Yeah, great. You stabbed somebody. Congratulations. I can't teleport yet! This way, I'm going to die. Where'd you go? Not a bad job, awesome! Oops. Nope, can't teleport yet. Can't teleport yet. So now I need theme music. Yeah, something like that. My what big generators you have. That gold shit. In your endo. <laughs> In your endo, in your endo. <laughs> oh, he had lots of guts. So, alright guys, I think it's a wrap, so see you on the next one, bye!